Would you like to learn how to encrypt a C Sharp application configuration file section? If so, stick around. I last left off discussing Microsoft's Enterprise Library version 6 and how to connect to multiple databases. In the simpleconnection.exe.config file, the passwords to these databases are exposed. Now, normally you don't use passwords to connect to enterprise applications. Uh, you use a combination of uh, permissions, um, uh, roles, etc. right? But uh, still, there may be some pieces of information in your configuration file that you'd like to keep private. So I want to show you how to use a uh, the ASP.NET underscore reg, uh, register IIS utility that comes with the .NET framework to uh, encrypt the connection string section of the configuration file. Now, this, this consists of the following steps. First, we're going to take the application configuration file, which in this case is simpleconnection.exe.config, copy and rename it to web.config. Next, we're going to run the ASP.NET or ASP.NET underscore reg IIS tool and encrypt the section that we're interested in, in encrypting. In this case, it'll be the connection string section. Once we connect, uh, encrypt that section, we're going to then copy that section from the web config file and paste it over the connection string section in the uh, simple connection.exe.config. And then when, we're, when we've done that, we can delete the web config. And now we'll have an encrypted section of the uh, simple connection.exe config, and our connection strings will be protected. A little bit more detail. Um, essentially, the reason why we need to change the config or the configuration file from simple connection.exe.config or whatever the application configuration file name is to web config is that's that's because the uh, ASP.NET or ASP.NET underscore reg IIS tool or utility expects a web config file. Okay, so <clears throat> we're just going to make it easy on that tool and name that file. Uh, web.config. Now, uh, as a precautionary measure, you can rename the original uh, connection file or configuration file and store it in a safe location. So in this case, I'll name the, the uh, original file uh, simpleconnection.exe.config.org. Then we're going to run ASP.NET underscore regs to encrypt the connection string section. Now you find this utility in the Microsoft.NET uh, framework. And if you've got the latest framework installed, you should see this path, C colon backslash windows, Microsoft.NET slash framework slash V4.0, whatever the, the, the latest is. And in there, you'll find the um, ASP.NET underscore regis, register IIS utility. Okay, now once you uh, run that utility to encrypt the section that you want to encrypt, then you take that encrypted section from the web config file and you copy that and you paste that into the application config and then you can delete the web config. So let's take a look at how this works. Uh, this is not going to be a very long video, so uh, let's let's get coding. So here I have my two database VMs showing, running um, MS SQL Server 2019 on a Windows Server 2016 VM, which I call Vesta. That's this one right up here. I'll move that one out of the way. And then I have a Windows uh, Server 2008 R2, which I call Apollo, running an instance of uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2. I'll move it out of the way. And if you recall the um, architectural diagram, I'm using Enterprise Library version 6 to connect to these two databases using a simple connection application just to demonstrate concepts. Right. <clears throat> let's, 
navigate to where the uh, ASP.NET Reg IIS tool is located. So we go to the Windows folder, uh, Microsoft.NET, uh, there we go, Framework, not the Framework 64, but the Framework. And we scroll down and we'll see right here, ASP.NET Reg IIS Execute, right there. So that's the application. Now, if you have Visual Studio installed or, uh, yes, if you have Visual Studio installed, you'll have the command developer prompt uh, that comes with it. If not, you'll need to make sure that you set your uh, environmental uh, environment variables and uh, set your path so that it can find this file so it can execute. Now, one other thing I want to show you is in the config file. So we're still in the .NET Framework v4030319. I navigated to the config folder, and I want to draw your attention to the machine config. So I'm going to edit this in Notepad. And then I want to search for RSA. OK, it's already there. Fine. Now, there's a section in here that defines two configure config protected data providers. So the default provider, and this is going to come in handy when we encrypt the connection string section. So there's already a default provider called RSA Protected Configuration Provider, and this is the name of the default provider. So we're going to use that default provider to encrypt that section. And what that means is that um, you're going to encrypt the connection string section, all right? And when you're using Enterprise Library, right, to actually execute, the, the application will automatically use the services of this RSA protected configuration provider to decrypt that section and extract those connection string settings. Okay, so if you're wondering like, well, okay, I can I encrypt that section and then how do I actually decrypt it to use it? Well, that will happen automatically if you specify the configuration provider, right? And it's in it's set up in the machine. So this is for the machine config, okay, for Microsoft.net. So I'm gonna close this and um, I guess I'll, yeah, I'll just close this. Now let's go to the project folder. This is for the simple connection application. So uh, if you've been following along with some of the latest series I've been posting, which is complex, how to create complex Visual Studio solutions using um, Visual Studio, then to test the connections to the database using Enterprise Library, I created this DB connection test application, which I call Simple Connection. So Simple Connection, um, we don't even need to go into the code on that because there's a whole nother video, but essentially, here is the configuration file. So let me edit that in Notepad++ to show you what we're talking about. We have this connection string section, right, those tags, and we have two connection strings configured. One's employee training database, that's located on the Windows 2008 R2 server, and then on Vesta, we're just connecting to the master database. So we're using passwords right, and user IDs to connect. And these things, you don't want to escape into the wild, usually, right? We're going to connect, or I'm going to um, encrypt this section using that ASP.NET underscore regis, register IIS utility, right? So let me go ahead and close this. Well, I'll leave this open. Because what I want to do is I want to save it. I want to save as, okay? Uh, web.config. So save this file as web.config. Okay, and then um, I can go ahead and close it. And then what I want to do is I want to rename this uh, original. Okay, I'm going to rename this to uh, config.org like that. Just go ahead and accept that. And then I'm going to create another, actually, so let me just copy this. I wanted to copy. Paste. And just get rid of this here. Okay. 
Okay, so now I want to, so what I want to do essentially is just preserve this original file. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'll just call it uh, temp. And I'll just drag this original version of that file right there. So now I've got a copy of my config file, okay, saved off as the original, just in case I screw something up. And then this web config is actually a copy as well, but just renamed to web config. So now I need to use the uh, ASP.NET regIIS tool. So I have a encrypted, or I have a batch file, I should say, called encrypt connection strings bat, right? I'm just going to open that with uh, Notepad++ just to show you what it looks like. So here is the command. Now before I actually discuss this particular command, let me show you where, and I have a link down below, so here's the documentation for this. Let me expand this, and I know this is a little small, so let me make it just a bit bigger. So there's a section, so um, ASP.NET and this is about security, so securing ASP.NET websites, encrypting configuration information using protected configuration. Uh, and it gives you the string, at least part of it, that I'm going to use. The, the issue with uh, ASP.NET Regis, right, is it assumes that there's an uh, ASP.NET site on your computer, right? And the default location that it, it looks in is the folder in which this application runs. Now you can specify an app, but if you don't have an ASP.NET app location, right, on your machine, then it's not going to find it. So you have to do a, a bit of modification. So <clears throat> one way to figure out which uh, commands you can use is to crank up, I'm using a developer command prompt here. I'm going to change, so I'm going to CD um, well, I'm in the projects folder, so dir, and I'm going to change to my project that I'm interested in. So uh, cd employee training, and then cd db connection test app. All right, so <clears throat> I'm just going to run uh, the ASP net regis, and it'll give you a list of uh, uh, options, right, and switches that you can use to run this. The one that we're going to be most interested in is the PE, the encryption. So there's a whole section on configuration encryption options. We have the PE section, and then if you read it, it tells you like how to uh, use it. But quite frankly, you could probably read the, these help, this help uh, dump, and still scratch your head, right? So until you actually see an example connection string uh, in action, that's that's probably the best thing to see. And I've created it through a little bit of trial and error. And essentially, we're going to use uh, ASP.NET, I'll make this text just a bit bigger. Well, I don't need it that big. Okay, so uh, control, there we go, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so ASP.NET, regis, right, register IIS, utility, and then dash PE for encrypt, F, I think that means file, right, so connection strings, and then I'm going to give, uh, so that's the name of the section, I'm going to encrypt the connection string section, and then space, and then dot, and what that means is, look for the web.config file in this directory that I'm actually executing the, um, the tool in, so my working directory. So look for web config in my working directory. If you don't do this, it'll go looking for the default ASP.NET application directory, which if you don't have one set up on the ser on your server, it's not gonna find it. And then the provider, that's the dash PROV. So the provider is that default RSA protected configuration provider, okay? So um, I'm just going to then close this and I'm going to return to my console, clear the screen, and I'm going to run this. So uh, encrypt connection strings bat. And then we should see this succeeded uh, message. Now I will take Notepad++. All right. So uh, let's open. 
Okay, and uh, let's see. Okay, so open the web config. Now we'll see here that the connection string section has a, a new, um, uh, what do you call this, property. That tag has a property, conf config protection provider. So it identifies the provider. And then it gives a bunch of other stuff and we get into these different, uh, you know, this is the result of running it, right? So it's taken. Let me go to the original. So file open. Let's go to the original config.exe, right? So there's the original connection strings, right? It's taken this section right there and it's encrypted it and provided information so that the decryption process can work. Now what you want to do is you want to take this encrypted section, just go copy everything between, copy everything including the connection string tags, okay? Return to that simple connection exe, select your connection string tags, and hit paste, right? So we've replaced the unencrypted with the encrypted from that web config. Now we can close these, close that. We can, uh, I'm gonna move the web config into temp as well. And now let's run it and we see if it works. So simple. All right. And there we go. It works. That's how you do a configuration section um, encryption. So you use the uh, ASP.NET underscore reg IIS. So a quick review. You want to copy uh, and rename the uh your um, application configuration file, right? So in this case, the name is simpleconnection.exe config, and then just copy that off into a, a protected location. So I've moved that original file into the um, temp folder. Then you wanna create the web config and run that IIS tool because that I, the uh, ASP.NET underscore reg IIS tool expects a web config. I will upload this code to the repository so you'll have this connection, this uh, encryption um, command, right, ready to go, this batch file. And this will uh, in encrypt a connection string section. If you want to encrypt other sections, you can do it. You just have to um, run the command uh, multiple times, right, and specify which section you want to encrypt. And again, it's going to decrypt automatically because the AS, the uh, .NET Frameworks machine configuration file has this default provider defined as the RSA protected configuration provider. Okay, so uh, that's that's one way to do it. All righty, hope you found this helpful. I know this is a short video, but uh, anything to keep your apps a little bit more secure and keep those connection strings away from prying eyes goes a long way towards keeping your application secure. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Get your girlfriend. Text her right now and say, look, if you don't have a YouTube account, get one and subscribe to this guy's channel. Uh, hit subscribe. Get all your friends. Pass it around. Share my videos left and right. If you think they're helpful, get on LinkedIn. Paste a link to my videos. Get on uh, share them with your YouTube friends. Get on Facebook. Share the videos. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.